My name is Rachel Abo. I'm a Microsoft MVP, a Power Platform and a Dynamics 365 CRM developer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a collapsible menu navigation bar in Power Apps. So don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on notifications. Let's go ahead to the video. Okay, so this is how the Canvas app application works. When you click on this hamburger icon, it controls the left-hand side gallery and also the gallery at the middle of the screen, which is the gallery at the left side of the screen. So when you click on this hamburger icon, it closes the gallery and it adjusts the gallery in the middle of the screen. So I just wanted to see how it works. And also I have a blog post written on the Microsoft tech community, which currently has 31.7K views. So you can see the step-by-step -step process on how this was created. I'll be adding the link to this in the description of this video. And also I have the application downloaded in my GitHub repository. So you can just come here, click on, you can just come here, click on YouTube demo app. And after clicking on that, you can click on this icon, download raw file, and this will be downloaded to your laptop, your local device, and then you can download it into, you can import the, so you can import the application to your own environment. I also have a detailed step-by-step -step of how to download this application here. Okay, so let's go ahead to how to create this application in Power Apps. So now I'm currently on the make.powerapps.com. So I need to, at the left-hand side of my screen, I just have to click on create, click on blank app. And when clicking on blank app, we have three options. We have blank canvas app, which is creating a blank canvas app. We have blank app based on Dataverse, that is modern driven app. And then we have Power Pages website. So Power Pages website is just Power Pages. You building a website with on Power Pages. So yeah, we're going to be creating a blank canvas app. So I'm just going to click on create. And at the next step, it I need to give my app a name. So I'm just going to give this demo application. And we have two formats, we have the tablet format and we have the phone format. So this is just the layout, like what layout do you want your application to be in? So I want my application to be in a tablet format. So if you see this application we have here, this is a tablet format application. So that is what I want to do. So click on tablets and then click on create. Okay, so we are waiting. And then I'm just going to click on don't show this again and click on skip. Okay, now, so this is perfect. We are currently in the Power App Studio. So I'm going to be creating a, I'm go, in order for me to create my navigation bar, I need to add the screens I need. Like if you notice from this particular place, we have different screens here. It's like a navigation to different screens. They are not in those screens, but it's like a navigation to different screens. And those screens are home screen, profile, my library, available books, FAQ, and contact us. And you can see all of the screens. We have each and every one of them in this particular. We have each and every one of them. So I need to go ahead and create my own screen. So the first thing first is new screen. I'll add that. I'm going to continue adding screens. So I'm going to name this, this screen one, I'm going to rename it. So what I did, I clicked on the three dots and then click on rename. So I'm just going to name this to profile screen. And then screen two, I'm going to name it to, okay, screen two, it doesn't really matter, screen two, I'm just going to name it to home screen. I can adjust it later. I'm going to name it to home screen and then the next one library screen library screen so yes the name the naming that you have might be different from me but i want you to make sure to 
before because we are going to be creating a, a context variable that we are going to be using in our application so i need to make sure that i have my screens available before i work on my context variable so if you have if the names of your screen is different you can go ahead and name your screens differently i'm going to show you how to make changes to that context variable if you have different names of screen so i'm going to continue creating my screen the next thing i'm going to do is to click on new screen click on blank so this particular screen is available screen okay available books screen okay and i'm going to add more screens here so what i'm just doing i'm just recreating the application we already have before the application i showed before so i'm just going to add the last screen so this screen is screen five i'm just going to rename it to faq screen okay and then this screen to contact screen contact us screen okay seems like i do not need this so i'm just going to delete it so that is all the screen i need for this that is all the screen i need so i'm just going to so i want to move this up i'm just going to click on the three dots and then click on move up so then we have our home screen so the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to start adding my gallery to the screen, my gallery control to my screen. So I'm going to click on insert. Then I'm going to look for gallery. And when I look for gallery, you can see we have different galleries. We have vertical gallery. We have horizontal gallery. We have flexible height gallery. We have blank vertical gallery. We have blank horizontal gallery. And we also have blank flexible height gallery so yeah i'm going to be going for the blank vertical gallery okay so we have this so i'm just going to be adjusting this okay so i'm going to change the the y of this so if you did not see what i did i can just show you from this particular point i just had to click on the gallery Click on those properties, the drop down, and then go to Y. Or I can easily just go to the right side of my screen and then click on Y. It depends on whatever you want to do. So let's go back. So I'm going to change this to 52. I'm also adjusting. Okay, I think the height is fine. So the height is 671. Okay, so I was changing, I changed the Y and also the height is 671. I think that's perfect. So I'm just going to adjust the width for now. I'm going to adjust the width for now to this. So after adjusting the width, I'm going to, so I'm going to start working on the gallery. So you can, as you can see the gallery, there's nothing inside of it. It's showing add an item from the insert pane or connect to data. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be adding controls inside of it. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to click on this small edit icon. I can do that again. I'm just going to click on this small edit icon and then click on insert. And then I can go ahead and add an icon to it. Okay, I'm going to add a home icon. So I just search for home, click on it. So you can see it's inside of this gallery. So do not make that mistake where you do not click on the edit icon before adding your home icon. So it's very, very important. Okay, so I'm going to adjust this, move this a bit. Okay, so this is just me dragging it. And the next thing I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding a text label. So I'm just going to click on the gallery again, click on the edit icon. And then click on insert so the, this text label i'm going to be adding a text label and then i'm going to adjust it to the side okay okay for now i'm going to adjust it to the side then this 
if you can see this gallery we have two steps if i click on the full gallery you can see the way it looks like and then if i click on this edit icon which is edit gallery you can see it has a small box so i'm just going to adjust it now i'm going to drag it up okay okay i think that's fine so now i'm going to go ahead and so now i'm going to go ahead and create my context variable because i want it to actually look like this so you can see this you can see how this looks like it's different from what we have right now so i'm going to change that at the left hand side of my screen i'm going to click on app and when i click on app i'm just going to go directly to the property on start and click on this drop down icon so i'm just going to paste my formula here I'm going to drag this so you can see my formula so you can see there is no error it's perfect that like there's no error and the reason is because i've already created my screens already and i have everything ready you can see so there's no there's actually no error in my there's actually no error here and we can look at this let me let you understand what is happening here so we have title you can see home screen profile my library available books so it's what you want to show inside of the gallery that is title then image image is for the icon like what icon are you using so if you check if you go to icons in in insert you can see different icons here you can see that in power apps we have hamburger icon we have laptop so i'm just calling their names here you can see that is all i'm doing you can see we have shopping cart that is just me doing icon dot notebook icon dot person icon dot add library icon dot message icon dot mail so that is what i'm doing here icon dot home then for screen name screen name is the name of the screens so in this particular screen name now i have home screen profile screen library screen available book screen fax screen and contact us screen so if yours is different you can rename the screen if your the names of your screen is different so you can change everything i have here yeah, screen name and also if you are using a different icon for image you can also change the name you can also change this you can change icon.home you can change icon.notebook yes so i just want you to understand what is happening here and how you can make your own changes to your application okay so perfect we have that already okay so the next thing now is our gallery control so what i'm going to do here is that i'm just going to be adding the variable we just created so you can see the collection we have it here as called navigation menu so if you can notice from app if you click on this particular drop down you can see that we the name of this variable is called call navigation menu so you can also give your variable a different name if you want to but for this particular video we have our we have a variable as call navigation menu so i'm just going to close that so i want to show you so if you can see now we have the call navigation menu showing here as a collection so this is it and if you do not have this showing that is fine just come to app click on the three dots and then click on run on start in case you, you do not have that showing so i'm going to go back to the home screen click on gallery one and then click on call navigation menu okay so we have an error message just check what that is so we are going to change this this item dot sample heading to this item dot title okay so now you can see we now have that as home screen so you can see this right up that we have here title title is now coming up as our home screen you can see home screen profile so you, you can see now that title is now coming up here so we have all of this here so the next thing to change now is the icon so i'm going to click on the icon and i'm going to change the icon property from icon.home and if there's something that you missed for home screen for the label i changed the text property i changed the text property from this item.sample heading to this item.title 
And now I'm going to also change the icon. I'm going to change the icon property from icon.home to this item.image. So now you can see all those icons we created. You can see all of them now. They are showing here. You have your home icon. You have your person icon. You have your library icon. You can see we have everything that we called in this particular variable. They are all showing here. You can see icon.home, icon.person, icon.notebook, icon.addlibrary, icon.message, and icon.email. Icon.mail. Okay, I'm just going to save this. So let's make some a little bit of adjustment to this text label and also the icon. So I'm just going to reduce this a bit. So what we did before, I'm just going to reduce that a bit. And then I'm also going to try reducing this. Okay. And then the icon. If you want to reduce it, you can. You can reduce it. I also want to increase the, if you want to increase the size of, like, if you see this right now, this is how it looks like. This is how the size looks like, like the font size. If you want to increase the font size, you can just click on the label one and then go to, go to you can go to size property and then you can increase it from here to 13 to whatsoever number you want to increase it to. And you can also change the, you can also change the font. You can see we have open sans. You can change it to lapo. You can change it to whatever you want to change it to. So next thing I'm going to do now, you can see this scrollbar. This scrollbar that we currently have here, I don't want it there anymore. I'm just going to click the gallery. And then at the right side of my screen, where I have scrollbar, I'm just going to turn it off. Yeah, so perfect. This is what I want. Okay, so this is what I want. So I'm just going to adjust this a bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be adding here, I'm going to be adding the hamburger icon to this particular screen. So I'm just going to click on insert, then search for the hamburger icon, click on it. Take it to this place. So I want to make the X and Y property to be zero and zero. So you can see the X property is zero and zero. Then the width is 64. The height, I want the height to be 45. Okay. Then another thing to also notice here is that we have the, we have this icon in blue. I want to change that. I want to make it black. So I'm just going to click on this gallery, click on icon, and then Click on this drop down property and go to color. I'm going to change this 107 to 0. So now we have it as ROGBA 0001. So you can see that. And I'm also going to do the same thing for the hamburger. I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to change this to 0. Change the 18 to 0. Changing it from blue to black, which is RGBA 0001. Okay. Then always remember to save. Okay. So now we have this. This is what we currently have right now. And we need to start making the major changes we need to make in this gallery. So we have done everything. We have done the part of adding screens to the application. We have done the part of creating our variable. We have done the part of adding the gallery control adding the labels and icons inside of it and we are also done the part of actually we have also done the part of actually adding the the variable we created inside of the gallery yeah okay so now okay now i'm going to be changing the template feel of this if you can see the way it looks like now so i'm going to be changing the template feel of this gallery control i'm just going to go down Go to template fill, change it from 000 to this. Okay. I'm going to change it to this. So what this template fill is doing is that wait. I'm just going to delete this one. Yeah. So what this template fill is doing is that you can see this setup here. So anything I click, this color comes up. 
you can see it this color comes up so i'm just trying to make it to differentiate what i clicked on and if you did not see the formula this is what i used if this item is selected then select this color if it's not selected it should be this like there should be no color on it that is what it means yes so i still need to adjust i don't like the way it looks like it's a little bit funny so yeah okay okay i think that's okay now at least manageable so this is it so there's one thing that you can notice from when i showed you how this application looked like like the application i already had like you could see that when i clicked on this particular hamburger icon something was happening like the movement of this gallery it was changing it was closing and opening like it was expanding okay, so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to come to the hamburger icon and then go okay so i'm going to go to the hamburger icon and go to the on select property of the gallery icon so this determines the navigation the movement of this particular hamburger icon so i'm going to change it from first to set variable is expand so this is me creating our variable is expand then this is expand okay now i'm going to close it so this is our variable so i've created the variable here the next thing i need to do i have to go to the width property so now i have to go to the width property of this particular gallery and then change it to this so i'm actually calling it you can see if it's a span 240 60. so let's check how that works if i click on this you can see it's now controlling it but there's something we also need to adjust you can see it's a little bit one kind so let's adjust that 214 so let's increase this and see what happens so i increased it from 214 to 70 60. I can also reduce it to I can also reduce it to 250. So if there's something that you need to notice is that that 250 is controlling it's like it's controlling the gallery itself. Like okay, let me explain. If you close this particular, we have it at 60. If you open it, we have it at 250. So that is the way it looks like. When you expand, when you expand, it is 250 when you close it is 60 so i want to change that so i want to change it from 60 to 65 let's see how that works now okay it improved but i want it to be better than that okay i'm going to change this to 70 okay I think it's a little bit better so if there's anything that you want to change you can actually change it so i think it looks a little bit better and i can also come to this place if i want to also change that to 50 i can change it to 245 so i just wanted to see how all the changes are being made and also how you can easily make your own changes in the application and if you have if you come into any issue how you can actually resolve it I can see easily change it back to 214 so you can see from what we had it before i can change it back to 214. i also adjusted it because i wanted it to look a little bit better and this is how it looks like now so i think this is much better than it was before if you don't want it looking like this you can also fix it by just clicking on the gallery clicking on the edit icon and moving it this way you can see it so anywhere you want your gallery to your navigation bar to look like you can just adjust it yeah so okay so the next thing to do is that the navigation because this gallery control right here is meant for navigating from different screen from navigating to home screen to profile screen and then to the library screen the available book screen the FAQ screen and also the contact us screen. So that is the purpose for this gallery control. But we need to make that possible. 
And there's a lot of mistakes that people make is that, for instance, now we have a label, a text label control. They'll do this mistake where they come to the unselect property and then they change it to, and then they change it to navigate, open brackets, they change it to navigate this item dot screen name and close the bracket. If you have a question like, okay, where did Rachel get screen name? If you go to app and you go to on start, you can notice that this particular place. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, so we have it here that screen name is profile screen. So screen name is just for that is the name of the variable we have for these different screens. So that is what I did there in case if you have any concerns. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the gallery and go back to label. So we have this, this is the navigation now inside of the label. But there's something I do not like about this is that if I hover on home screen, nothing is happening. If I click on this, it's not navigating me. You can see, like I'm not being navigated on the icon. This is the icon, this is the label. So if I click on the icon, I cannot be navigated to another screen. So if I have this expand closed, I don't have the opportunity to navigate to another screen. You can see that. But if I have it opened, the label, if I click on the label, if I click on the label, it's supposed to navigate, okay? If I click on the label, it's supposed to navigate me to another screen, but it is not navigating me right now because I'm currently in the home screen. So if I go to profile and click on it, you can see it, it navigated me to the profile screen. We have nothing there right now, but I'm going to click on that and change it because I want it that the user cannot just click on the label to move to the next screen, but they can also click on the icon to move to the next screen. So let's do that by adding a button to the screen, a button control. So I'm going to click on the gallery. I'm going to open this first. So I'm going to click on the gallery, click on the edit icon, always click on the edit icon. Then I'm going to search for the button control. After clicking on insert, click on button. Then I'm going to bring it here. Then adjust it. Okay, so I've adjusted it. I just adjusted it to cover the icon and the text label. So that is all I did. And then I'm going to remove the text property. I'm going to remove the button from the text property. I'm just going to scroll down, click on text, and then remove everything here. And I'm also going to change. You can see it's actually, we are not seeing our icon. We are not seeing our text label. So I'm going to change that by clicking on the button and then clicking, right clicking, click on reorder, and then go to send backward. So that changes it. So after clicking on send backward, I'm going to go ahead and change the background color of the button control by going to the fill property and then changing all of this to zero. Okay. I'm going to change all of this to zero. Yeah. And also, if I play this application, you can see if I hover on it, this is what it's showing. If I do the same thing for this, this is what it's showing. If I don't want it this way. Okay. So I'm going to come back here. Click on the button. And then I can change that by going to the hover field property. And then changing it to our DBA. Zero 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 and close it okay i'm just going to copy this and go to the pressed fill the pressed fill is that when i click on that particular place i don't want the blue color to show so i'm just going to change the press fill change itself to color then to this okay so let's try it one more time so you can see if i hover on it there's no issue if i click on it there's not there's no issue okay so I'm going to come back here. Okay, so I'm going to come to this button. 
and then go to the unselect property of the button. I'm going to go to the unselect of the button and change it to navigate and change it to navigate this item dot screen name. Okay, so there's something I want you to notice is that after we have our navigate this item dot screen name inside of the unselect property of the button, if I come here to this place, there is no hovering on the home screen, only on the icon. But I don't want that to I don't want that to be like that. And how can I change that? Currently, we have the button send backwards, so we need to change it from send backwards by clicking on the right screen clicking on reorder and then click it to bring to front. You might not be seeing the color, but I want you to bring your button forward. So now I can play it. And when I hover on the home screen, you can see the difference. You can see the difference now, right? So this is perfect. This is better than what we had before. And the where we have the label one, we can go directly to the unselect property and change this. We do not need this anymore. Okay, I can just write pause and play this and see the changes. You can see the same thing, homes profile, it's moving. And if I also go back to home screen, back to the home screen, if I click on the icon, it's moving. So this is better. Okay, so the next thing is to add our gallery, the next gallery. So I'm going to click on insert and then search for gallery and add the vertical gallery. So if you can see, this is different. The first gallery I added was the blank vertical gallery, but now I'm adding, but now I'm actually adding a, but now I'm actually adding a vertical gallery. Okay. And we're going to come to the right side of our screen where we have layout and change the layout from image, title, and subtitle to title and change it to this, or we can change it to title, subtitle, and body. You can see you have different options to change it to. For the new gallery, the layout, I'm going to be working with title, subtitle, and body. And then I'm going to be making changes to the write-ups we have here. I'm going to change this item dot this item dot sample heading to sample text give me a moment sample text okay i just want to change the write up i don't want the write up to be the same thing so you what you are doing is different because you want something different so it does not have to be this but i'm just trying to show you what i'm doing so i'm just going to change it to that and this is our gallery. So I'm going to adjust it. Okay. I'm going to continue adjusting it. Okay, so this is the way it looks like right now. And I want to make changes to this gallery. I want to start making changes to this gallery. And I can make changes by clicking on the edit icon. I'm just going to click on this edit icon and change the template field. I'm going to come here to the template field property. I'm going to change it from this to color dot white smoke. So it looks different now. I'm going to change it to color dot white smoke. I'm going to delete this rectangle. I don't need it. I'm going to delete it inside of the gallery. You can see this is where I'm deleting it. I'm going to delete rectangle i'm also going to be deleting the separator and then the next thing now is to go to clicking on the gallery and then going to the template pardon property template pardon property and i'm going to change it from 0 to 20. okay you can see the changes it does not look the way it was right now before i'm going to change it to 20 and i'm also going to change the template size from 116 to 138 okay so you can see how it looks like now it's at least it looks a little bit better right 
So this is how it looks like now. Then I'm going to go back to clicking the gallery. I'm going to, at the right side of my screen, I'm going to scroll down. Where we have scroll bar, I'm going to turn it off. Where we have show navigation, I'm going to turn it on. So it depends on what you want. So you can see this is the way it looks like now. So I just have to click on this to change it. So it just depends on what you want. Do you want it like this? Do you want to show the navigation or you want to show the scroll, the scroll bar? So it just depends on you. For this video, I want to be working with the navigation bar, the navigation. Okay. So if there's something you notice is that there is a border color here and it is blue. I don't want it like that. So I'm going to click on the gallery, go to border color, property. And then this is the color we have here, which is the blue. So I'm going to change everything here to zero. If you want, you can change it to, you can see, you can change it to black, but I want it to be zero. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. So the next thing is that I want to delete this arrow. I'm just going to click on the gallery, go to the arrow, and then click on the three dots and delete it. So this is how it looks like. And then if I play this application, this is how it's working right now. Nothing is happening in this particular gallery. So I want to change that. Okay. So this is a width, this is the X property of this gallery, which is now gallery one dot width. Let's play that one more time. So you can see, so it's the X property that we are changing. So now this is how it works. So it just depends on what you want, what you want to do. If for instance, for the layout, if you want to change the layout to image, title, and subtitle, you can do that. And also, if you want to increase the font of the right subs inside of the gallery, you can easily just click any of them where you have subtitle, body, and title. You can click any of them, and then you can go directly to size, and you can increase the size. If you also want to change the font type, you can come here and change the font type. So for instance, now where I have title, I can increase it to 18. You can see it's bigger now. I can increase it to 18. I can also change the font to Lato. So you can see it just depends on what you want to do, but this is how the application looks like. So anything you want to do, you can do it. But I just want you to see how I created this application here. And don't forget that you can download it here. You can come to this place and download the application. So thank you so much. And if you have questions on how you can add data, like how you can add your data source inside of your application, it's the same process that you usually follow that you can do. You can just come to your data, add your data source, and do whatsoever you want. But I'm just trying to show you like, okay, this is the process of how you can build something like this. And then you can go forward from this particular point. So thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, ask your questions and I'm happy to answer your questions. Bye and see you in the next video.